Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, uh, you know, we've been making a lot of jokes about living in California lately. Oh, boy. They're not jokes. (laughs) They're truths. They're facts. (laughs) They are. (laughs) And people leaving a particular state is a pretty good indicator that things are not going well. If five or ten people leave, no big deal. I make that up over in an hour. Right. But we're talking about thousands of people leaving states for one reason or another. And on this show, we're going to talk about the top ten states people are moving out of. And top ten states are moving into. Next, I'm Enter So Smart. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. And uh, we have today top 10 states people are moving out of. The top 10 include New York, Illinois, Californication, New Jersey, Louisiana, Massachusetts, hmm. Hawaii, Maryland, Connecticut, and Kansas. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the residents each of these states are losing, Ronnie. So number 10, mm-hmm. Kansas. And what they've done is they've uh, interviewed, and these this is from a May of 2019 article, so very contemporary. But they took a moving company, I think it was United, that moves 100,000 people a year from you know destination to destination. And they did a little survey. And they asked them, why are you moving? Uh, if they were moving to a different state. And then they kind of compiled these results. I'm anxious to hear. Kansas lost 13,159 residents. Isn't that Uh, all they had in the first place? That was pretty much everybody. (laughs) Yeah, so there's nobody left. I don't know. Uh, 80 years after Dorothy ran away from her aunt and uncle's uh, farm in Kansas in the Wizard of Oz, people are leaving the state in droves. For the fifth straight year, more people have left the state than moved in. Kansas ranked number five out of the top ten states that have seen the most outbound migration in the past year. The biggest reason people cited for their moves from Kansas was for a job. So probably Kansas does not offer the type of work environment that, say, Silicon Valley has. Uh, and so I can see people leaving Kansas. More blue-collar jobs than, than uh, say, the tech savvy. Uh, definitely. Mm. Yep, definitely so. Uh, number nine, Connecticut. They lost 13,166 residents between 2016 and 2017. It was a topic of debate in the 2018 state governor's race. Uh, the truth may be more complicated than that. One of the biggest issues recently has been a new federal tax law that caps deductions at $10,000 for state and local taxes. Connecticut was expected to be one of the state's hardest hit by the new code since 484,000 tax filers in the state took deductions that exceeded $10,000 in 2015. Wow. Uh, Next up was Maryland, who lost 16,438 residents. Um, the biggest cause cited for people leaving Maryland was for a job. That was uh, 49%, followed by retirement. Yeah, who wants to retire in Maryland? Dang. Marylandians? Yeah. Uh, family, and then lifestyle and health were the, the last two reasons that people cited for moving. Hmm. I've never been to Maryland, so I can't really... Uh... I would imagine it gets kind of chilly there. Yeah, in the uh, time. and probably a, a lot of politicians there. Yeah. That would be a good reason for me to leave. Well, there's trouble in paradise, my oh, friends. Oh no! Mm. Hawaii comes in at number seven. They lost twenty thousand one hundred twenty-nine residents between sixteen and seventeen. Uh, in this picture, you see tourists walking Waikiki Beach and Diamond Head off in the distance. Census data shows us that Hawaii has the highest median home value in the entire U.S., $617,400. CNBC also ranked Hawaii as the state with the highest cost of living in 2018. They don't make anything there. Uh, Pineapple, that's about it. 
with the cost of a half a gallon of milk coming in at three dollars and sixty four cents. You have to import everything. Yeah. Every even beer. Mm -hmm. Beer is way more expensive there. Everything's more expensive Cars. there. Cars. Cars are more expensive there. Everything has to be imported. You pay the price. Mm -hmm. I had a buddy who uh, had a medical retirement from the sheriff's department, and he went to live on Maui. And the biggest issue he has, well, there were two issues. Because he had a medical issue, he had, a, he had some serious back uh, problems. The best doctors are not on Maui. Uh, they're not even on Oahu. They're on the big island of Hawaii. So he would have to jump on a plane to go see a doctor for his back issues wow. three or four times a year. Uh, and he finally, he just moved back home. He's back. He lives up in Auburn now. So... I mean, it yeah, seems well, like paradise. But. I can tell you a time when you go to Hawaii, you move there, a time will come when the coastline is just too close to you. It's, you can't get away <laughs> from you it. You can't. It's just everywhere you go. It's such a small, small place. Well, that was the other thing he said was you get island fever. That's it. You can absolutely circumnavigate the whole island in about five to six hours. Tops. So it is, it's not that big of a place. No. All right. Uh, number six is Massachusetts lost 21,000 residents. Uh, again, most of this was people finding jobs at over 50%. 20% of the people moved because of family. Uh, 20, another 19% moved because of uh, lifestyle changes. And then retirement and health followed. Um, I can imagine that in a place like Massachusetts, where it's very cold uh, during the winter, very bitter cold during the winter, if you've got arthritis or something and you're retired, that is a place you do not want to be. No. Yep. Man. So I don't blame them. Next up and coming in at number five, the Midway Point, Louisiana, lost 28,921 residents. Um, let's see. Right after Katrina. Oh, boy, that was a big... Outflow. Some 250,000 New Orleans, nor New Orleanians, were moved to Houston, Texas. Yep. As of 2017, 100,000 of them remained in Houston. People are really hurting. They don't have jobs, and those who have jobs are really not getting paid what their counterparts are in other states. Not yep. a, like not a good place to be. No. Nope. Uh, next up, New Jersey. My hometown. Yep, Joyzy. Yeah, they lost almost seventy thousand residents. Uh, while New Jersey comes in at number four on the list, the Garden State actually topped a recent moving company's report on which states people are leaving the most. Um, I mean, it, it really does. It, it comes down to I don't know what's what's the crime like in New Jersey? Is it? Uh, uh, well, certainly, no, it's not as bad as New York. No, or, yeah, it, or it Chicago. But uh, you know, without saying too much, uh, let's just say that there's a lot of underground business that takes yeah, place. Yeah, the wise guys. Yeah, uh, most of the people listed uh, following a job, uh, and then also people retired, and I guess they don't want to retire in New Jersey. They retire to Florida. There you go. That's, yeah, that's absolutely right. People dream of that their entire life. We're going to work here, go through the winters, live in New Jersey, and then when we hit 65, bam, pew, gone. gone. Yep. Number three. Here we go. California, open that golden gate. And that doesn't even open. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. Uh, California Unless lost. there's been a really bad earthquake. <laughs> well, the Bay Bridge <laughs> paid the price one time. Yes, that opened. That's not the golden gate, but no. it's close. Uh, California lost 137,598 residents. Woo! The dream of owning a home seems to be what's driving most people out of California. Yep. 53% um, of Californians were considering leaving. Uh, that was as of back in February. There is no doubt, here we go, that California's economy for all of its strengths, when it comes to innovation and creating these industries that people want to be a part of, is struggling with high costs. Costs have gotten way, way ahead of incomes in California, and that's making a lot of people think about whether it's worth the hurdles. 
Well, we can't. I, I speak. question it. Well, yeah, uh, and you know what? Well, we don't have any insider views on any of these other states. But I've lived in California my whole life. You've lived in California the mo- majority of your Most life. Of it, yeah. And the the current political air here is it's awful. They are doing everything possible. They you know to find homes for migrants, but none for veterans. Um, Sanctuary cities. Yeah, it's I don't crime. Know. It's awful. I mean, it really is. Cost it's, of living. It's off the hook. Jobs. Cost of living is crazy. Uh, my daughter lives in San Francisco. San Francisco, I think, was rated as the number one least affordable city to live in in the United States. It also says that San Francisco is number three on the list with commuters spending an average of 79 minutes in their car a day. I just can't. Traffic. Can't do that. Road conditions, Ronnie. Oh, and it's awful in, oh, the road conditions are terrible. Um, but it, the traffic is also bad in Southern California. Like, oh, God, yeah. Crazy bad. Mm-hmm. We get people, uh, we have a, I'm the president of our homeowner association, and we recently had a guy move here from uh, Los Angeles, and he's a dentist. And I was telling him, and he's kind of looking for an office to work out of, and I have a buddy who's a dentist. And I told him, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's about 30 minutes from here or so. And he goes, well, 30 minutes in Los Angeles is like six miles. Yeah. <laughs> and so if that. I said, no, this is, this is a little bit further than that, but it's still, there's not going to be any crazy traffic. So, I mean, it is, we're... We're kind of paying the price of living in California right now. All right, number two, Illinois. They lost 142,685 residents. Uh, People have been leaving Illinois in dramatic numbers for several years. State reported a population loss for the fifth consecutive year. Uh, Illinois policy is conservative and libertarian. Um, Most of the working age adults are leaving the state and blames the lack of job opportunities and high taxes. And how about the high rate of murder? (sighs) Yeah. uh, There in Detroit. Hello, Chicago. Mm -hmm. Uh All right, so on our list of the uh, states most people are moving out of, number one is New York, New York. Lost 164,681 folks, half of that. Oh, never mind. That's a bad joke. (laughs) Uh, People will make demographic choices about where they want to live. Some are climate-based. Some are based for personal reasons. So the diminishing population in upstate is not new. Uh, Cuomo, who was the mayor there, made the government, I mean, made the comments as he was running for re-election. His Republican opponent in the race said that it was high taxes that are driving people out all right so now the flip side of the coin okay we've got the 10 states that people are flocking to where are they going where are they going all right number 10 i on have the a list. good idea oh i i know you do uh excuse me number 10 on the list is colorado yeah they gained 33,465 people and between 2016 and 2017. And that's probably based on the weed industry. A lot of it. So there's a, a bustling uh, job market available. Uh, and also, and we have some friends that have moved there, and they're kind of outdoorsy people, yeah. and they love it. Yeah. It's very much so, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's good for young and old alike. Uh, Centennial State is home to such large companies as Chipotle and Coors. City of Boulder has also emerged as a tech hub with Apple, Amazon, and Google. Wow, it's no wonder. And like you said, the job market, if you want to work, you could work. There's there's going to be a job there for you. Yeah. Next up, where people are moving, Nevada comes in at number nine. They gained 35,232 people. And I can tell you this, part of it, I guarantee you, has to do No state tax. Yeah. My financial planner told me, you want to make a, you want a 15% raise? Move to Nevada. Yep. Yep. All right. Number eight. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, KNTV reported last year, 
that the average cost of a home in Las Vegas was two hundred and fifty thousand to four hundred forty nine two forty nine compared to nine hundred twenty three thousand in the Bay Area and six hundred thirty six thousand in Los Angeles. You know what? You wonder why? Yeah. And you know what? We're not far. I think our median price here is about five fifty yeah. in this area. So it is. It's it's expensive to own a home. We went to a little fair yesterday where they were showing tiny homes. Yeah, I love those things. They're, but still, for a decent one, they're hundred thousand bucks. Oh. So and then you got to put it somewhere. Right. So it's still expensive. All right, number eight. Oh, and I was going to also add, I have lots of retired cop friends moving to Nevada, and number eight, Tennessee. I've been to Tennessee. It's beautiful. I can understand. Tennessee gained 37,000 people. Um, it is it is beautiful there. Uh, I tell you, I've, I've been there one time also. Was Went to the Indianapolis. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Indy 500. No, that was in Indianapolis. So uh, what did we do in Tennessee? Oh, right, right. Um, uh, I can't remember. Well, we, we did visit University of Tennessee. Uh -huh. But the state is beautiful. Uh, it's a popular state for retirees to move to. The taxes are very welcoming. Uh, property taxes. We might have a mutual Facebook friend, Nancy Griffith. Uh, anyway, she just moved there within the last six months. She sends pictures every day of how beautiful it is, and they're loving their life. They sold their home here for about six fifty, and they bought a mansion yeah. for about half that price. Yep. Number seven, South Carolina gained 39,000 people. With its comfortable climate and stable economy, it attracts both young and old alike. This state seems particularly popular among retirees. South Carolina came in at number four on SmartAsset.com's 2018 rankings of the states where the most retirees are moving, with an estimated 8,500 people 60 years older moving there in 2016. Well. Number six is Oregon. They gained 40,000 people. Uh, their exploding tech center is one reason why so many Americans are moving to the Beaver State. Uh, com companies like Intel and Xerox are setting up offices there. Uh, there's also manufacturing plants in the greater Portland or, uh, area. Uh, but it's not really the tech industry that's wooing the workers to Oregon. Statistics released by the state's employment department in September showed that between 2017 and 2018, Oregon created 42,000 jobs, 11,400 in construction alone. Uh, one of the other growing industries is healthcare, which added 6,400 jobs in that same time frame. Wow. Yep. Texas comes in at number five, gaining 61,000 people. Just last year, CNBC named the Lone Star State the best state for business, thanks in large part to the oil industry, which continues to be a major contributor to the state's gross domestic product. But Texas is also beginning to establish a tech industry as well, with Apple, Goggle, I'm sorry, <laughs> Google, and Amazon setting up new offices in Austin. And Inc. Magazine dubbed San Antonio a tech hub last year, thanks to its multiple cybersecurity startups. And again, so many of my retired deputy buddies have moved there. Once again, gun laws. Coming gun laws, by. taxes. Um, it's run it's by conservatives. Very mostly. favorable. Mm -hmm. They were. They just did, did show a picture though. They were repairing roof tiles that were damaged by golf ball sized hail. Oh. So there is that. Weather can be a little dicey there. Yeah, yep. All right, number four on the list is Washington, which gained 62,000, this is Washington State, mm -hmm. gained 62,062 people. Uh, most of this, unlike most of the states on the list, Washington is, is growing not so much because of a rising senior population, but because of a strong population of young workers. So people aren't technically going there to retire, although I do know people that have moved up there. Uh, Amazon, Microsoft, Starbucks, and Boeing are all headquartered in the state, and it offers plenty of job opportunities. Mm -hmm. North Carolina comes in number three. Almost 74,000 people gained. Charlotte 
has become a hub for banking, while some of the state's other big industries include food processing, pharmaceuticals, technology, vehicle parts, and more. Hmm. At almost 100,000 people, Arizona is number two on the list, having gained 98,000 people. Uh, Arizona is the second fastest growing state in the country in terms of population, and it has a lot to do with retirees. Yeah. Um, the Grand Canyon State is among the most rapidly aging states in the U.S. Uh, the report showed that 1.17 million people in Arizona are 65 years uh, age or older. Dang. Uh, the state experienced a 50% growth in this population segment. I mean, it's the dry heat. It's so comfortable. And my kid, both my kids went to University of Arizona. And when we'd go there, it's, it's, it's comforting. It's not, I've been in heat before. In fact, we did go to the Indy 500 back in Indianapolis. It was so flipping humid. Uh, and people are just, apparently maybe you get accustomed to it. I don't think I ever could. Uh, I was moving at the Indy 500, or we went and saw the Brickyard, but at the race, I'm moving my head like this is the only exertion I was doing. We were sitting in a covered uh, area, no sun on us at all, and the sweat was dripping down the back of my neck. The humidity. <sighs> it was awful. All right, so we've told you the places where people are moving out of. And we've told you the top nine places people are moving to. This should be no surprise. Uh, although I, I, I have no desire myself because of the weird people that live here. Yeah. Number one is Florida. Yes, I said Florida. Uh, gaining 145,000 people. The Sunshine State's year-round warm weather and beaches are part of what makes it so attractive, especially for retirees. It's interesting that the top are uh, Arizona and Florida, and both are warm weather, weather areas, and retirees are flocking there. That's yep. It's the baby boomers retiring that's yep. really skewing these numbers. Absolutely. Um, but it's not just the good weather beaches and golf courses. It's also one of the most tax-friendly states and has a sturdy economy to boot. I have to, at this point, interject that I was expecting, in, in the states where people are moving to, I was expecting both Idaho and Montana and didn't get either one. Yeah. Uh, and I do I do have a couple friends that have moved to both those states. Uh, seem to like it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. For me, too cold. Uh, there are parts of Idaho that are not as cold as others. I don't want any snow at it all. It can't be northerly. Right, you know? right. Uh, I don't want to have to shovel my sidewalk at all, ever. So that's... That I lived in Salt Lake City for a year. And oh. the year that I moved there, uh, that first winter was the worst winter they'd had in 25 years. Of course. And I was doing a morning radio show on a, on a rock station, which meant that I had to be up about 3.45. Ooh. And in order to get to the station, I had to dig the van out of the parking spot. No. Nope. Rock it, you know, put sand down... And this is all before 5 o'clock in the morning. No, thank you. And it's like 9 degrees below zero. Yep, not for me. Yeah, cold weather, no thank you. Uh, although, I will say this, I would rather be cold and have to get warm than be too warm and have to get cold. Boy, I don't know. I don't like either of those extremes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Arizona's perfect for you. Yeah. All right, so there you go. People are on the move. They're leaving California in droves. Yep. And Ronnie and I really can understand that. Yep. Um, you know, my wife and I, when we talk about moving out of state, she always says to me, but we have everything here. We have the ocean two hours away. Yeah. We have the mountains two hours away. Everything is within two hours distance of where we live. You could go snow skiing in the morning and end up water skiing in the afternoon. Yep. So, I mean, there are some advantages, but the political climate... Uh, and the taxes. And the taxes. Holy cow. I have never paid so much in taxes as I have in the last five years. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it seems seems almost unfair. And you know what? While we're beating California down, quick example. How much time do I have? Three minutes. 
Ronnie, I have a customer that at the welding supply store where I work that wanted me to get him. He has welding goggles, mm -hmm. but all of the straps are missing or broken that hold okay. them. Okay. So he said to me, Luke, can you get me like a box of these uh, elastic band straps for these goggles? He says, I see them all the time online. And around. I said, I can get you anything. You name it, I'll get it. Do you know that when we found the supplier for these elastic bands, and, and we're talking about a, $11 for 24 of them, okay? <laughs> Did you know when they asked us where we were calling from and we said California, they said, I'm sorry, these are not California compliant. Oh, these are not my Prop God. 64 compliant. And we couldn't get them for them. That's mm. California right there. Yep. So then you have to order them off eBay. You can. Yep. Ridiculous, my friends. California. Ridiculous. California. Why I ought to. <laughs> quiet numbskulls I'm broadcasting here. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for today. Little geography lesson, huh? Yes. Yeah, and yeah, economy, we were, too. We were all over. We had the numbers down. Damn, I've memorized I don't mine. Know what I'm doing. Well, I, I just read mine. Man. <laughs> I don't have any more room up here. My head is so smart. I've forgotten how to tie my shoes, though. <laughs> well, you can't reach them. Yeah, somebody else, else has to do that. You have people that do that. Though. I do have people. Yeah, they come over, they tie your shoes, they leave. Yep. Thank you. All right. Okay, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our website, which is menaresosmart.com. We see you going to our website. Uh, there you'll find stuff that, you, you know, there's surveys that you can take. We don't sell you anything. Mantisy Draft. They're there. You can make your votes there. Pick mine. No, pick my team, pick please. Um, and, and pictures and videos and blogs. and It's worth your time. Check it out. Yep. Uh, it's menaresosmart.com. On Facebook, it's at menaresosmart. And our email addresses are Lou, L O U, at men are so smart.com. And Ronnie, R O N N I E, at I'm, men are so smart.com. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.